recorder. In this video, we will talk about sieve of Eratosthenes. So, the sieve of Eratosthenes algorithm is made for the problem. The problem is all we have to find out all the prime numbers that are less than or equal to the given number. Suppose think that we are given a number twenty, and we have to find out all the prime numbers which are less than or equal to twenty. So, the prime numbers that are less than or equal to twenty are Two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, and nineteen. These are the prime numbers less than or equal to twenty. So the problem is asking us to design an algorithm in order to find out this. So we can do it by using our naive solution. So in the naive method, basically what we do is we will traverse from two to the given number, and we will find out the prime numbers which are lying in between these. So while traversing from two to n, we will check. Whether the uh, the number we are at present position is prime or not, and if at all it is prime, then we can directly print that, and if it is not prime, we will move to the next number. So if you look at the uh, let me give an example. So if we want to find out all the numbers, which are uh, all the prime numbers which are less than say fifteen. So we will traverse from two to fifteen. So in the process of this traversal, we will come across the number. Two, it is a prime, so we will print two, and the next number is three. It is also a prime, so we can print the three, and the next number is four. It is not a prime, so we will leave this, and the next number is five. It is a prime, we will print this, and the next number is six. It is not a prime, we will leave this. So, proceeding in this way, we can reach till fifteen, and we can decide that fifteen is also not a prime, and we leave this. doing in such a method is known as the naive procedure and in this we can find out the prime numbers which are less than the given number from 2 to the given number so if you look at the code of this the program will be like this so we are given a number n and we are traversing from 2 to n and if at all the number is a prime we are printing it and if it is not a prime we can leave it so for checking uh, you can see that i have given a function is prime i so this is the function which is called here and you can observe that for checking whether a given number is prime or not we can directly start from 2 and till the square root of that number so you may get the question why we are traversing till only the square root of n it's very clear that i have explained in finding the prime of n whether a number is prime or not i am attaching it in the description you can check out that video from there so doing so we can find out the all the prime numbers which are less than the given number so if you consider the time complexity of this this whole function is taking order of root n and we are traversing n elements here from 2 to the given number so the overall time complexity will be big o of n root n and this is the time complexity for finding out the prime numbers which are less than the given number and our task which is c of arsthenes is to reduce this time complexity to big o of n log of log n log of log n so let's discuss about the procedure of doing this so coming to the arsthenes the way we start it is we will create an array of size n plus 1 suppose we are given the number 15 so if the given number is 15 as we have taken in the previous example we will create an array of size 16 and in the array starting from 2 to the given number n we will mark those all as true it is nothing but this is the array which is of the name is prime so initially we are considering all the numbers from 2 to the given number n as prime numbers so we have marked all those as true and of course we know that we don't take 0 and 1 as those two are not prime at any case so we don't bother about these two and we will start from 2 to n we will mark them all as true so the arsthenes algorithm now let's look at it first we will do this and we are given a number 12 now we have to find out all the prime numbers which are less than 12 so the procedure we do is we will start from
we will start from 2 and you can observe that 2 is a prime number first we will check whether this is prime or not so as it is marked as true we can say that 2 is a prime number so we will just directly print out it and then we will go to the multiples of 2 which are less than the number 12 so you can observe that 4 is a multiple of 2 so you know that 4 is not a prime number so you can mark this as false and when coming to another multiple of 2 it is 6 it is marked as true here but we know that as it is a multiple of 2 it will also be a not a prime number so we can mark this as also false and next the another multiple of 2 is 8 so we can mark this also as false and finally here there will be the 12 and we can mark this one also as false so you can observe that we have eliminated 4 6 8 10 and 12 <coughs> and we are printing out the number 2 as the prime next we will move to the second number 3 we will check whether it is marked as true or false you can clearly observe that it is marked as true which means the traversal which we have done previously that is finding out the multiples of 2 has not taken down 3 as false so 3 is not having the factor behind it so you can clearly mention that 3 is a prime number next the we will check for the multiples of 3 those are 6 it is also marked as false and another is 9 it's marked as false so and 12 is also a multiple of 3 and uh, of course it is marked as false by number 2 so the prime still we have got so far is 2 and 3 now we will go to the next number 4 but you can see that 4 is marked as false by 2 as it is a multiple of 2 so we will not go for the traversal of 4 directly we can go for the traversal of 5 and you can observe that 5 is marked as true so it means that 5 is a prime number so you can directly write down it as 5 and now we will go for the multiples of 5 in the numbers which are less than 12 so you can observe that only one number is the 10 which is a multiple of 5 and it is also marked as false previously by the number 2 so we need not consider any of this and we can come out of the loop next we will go for the number 6 but it is marked as false so no need to bother about it and traversal next we will go to the next number one uh, one thing guys you may think that we are not taking 6 as it is having a multiple 2 or 3 previously but the multiples of 6 which is 12 can be a multiple of 6 so we have to mark 12 as false but there is no problem in that because 12 as 12 is a multiple of 6 it is also a multiple of 2 or 3 or 4 so these things will look after that case and we don't need to bother about that so now coming to the 7 it is marked as true so you can directly print out that and you can observe that the multiples of 7 we need to focus and the multiple of 7 is 14 but our range is still 12 only so we need not bother about 14 and we can directly go to the next one it is marked as true so we need not consider this case we will go to the next one it is also marked as true so we can leave this it is also marked as true so you can leave this and coming to the number 12 it is marked as guys these are three are marked as false okay and you can observe that the 11 is marked as true so you can observe that the numbers which are behind these are not a divisors of this number 11 so you can observe that 11 is a prime number and the multiples of 11 are 22 which are more than 12 so we need not bother about that when we can come out of the loop and the final number is 12 which is also marked as false so these are the numbers which are the prime numbers which are below the number 12 so this is the main idea of sieve of Arasthenes. basically we will move from the number 2 to the number n and while doing so if we are fine uh, we have to mark the multiples of the number which we are considering as false as they are not primes because they are having the divisor in the given case so you can find out the primes in this way now let's look at the code of this guys one more thing to look after suppose we are giving the number as 10 and we have to find out all the primes which are less than the number 10 
and we are basically the procedure we are following till now says us that we should travel from 1 to 10 and we have to find out the multiples of each number and we have to print that which are left over as the primes but the uh, thing is that we know we need not travel till the number 10 we can travel till only the square root of 10 because if at all a number is present then it should present as a multiple so if there is suppose consider the number 8 previously what we are thinking is that we have to move till the number 10 and in between we will come across the number 8 and we have to check whether it is a prime or not but this is not the case because if we are at the number 2 then we are take, looking at the 8 as the multiple of 2 and we are marking it as not a prime which means false and suppose if we are at the number 6 we know we need not to consider whether it is true or false we can directly when we are at 2 or 3 we will be marking this one as false so considering the number 9 we need not travel travel till the number 9 because uh, we are looking at this number 9 as the multiple of 3 and we are cancelling this out as not a prime so the thing is that we need not travel till the whole array and we can consider only square root of n and later we can print out all the numbers which are marked as true so which means which are marked as primes we can print them later so in our code we will be traversing till the square root of n only and you may understood the reason behind that this is the same reason as the finding whether a number is prime or not and in the latter step uh, after uh, in the traversal of till the number square root of n if we come across a number i the thing is that if i is not a prime then there is no need of further travel self we can directly exit that and if i is a prime we have to mark the multiples of i as false because they are not the primes so consider the number 2 it is not a prime hey, sorry it's a prime and the multiples of 2 4 6 8 10 these are not primes so you may understood that the outer loop is starting from i equal to 2 to square root of n and the inner loop is starting from j equal to i cross 2 to j less than or equal to n because if we are having the number 4 suppose if we are taking the number 4 and 4 square will gives us 16 which is more than this and we do, uh, don't want to go out of the range so just we are considering till the number n so let's look at the code of this now firstly we are marking we are taking a vector and we are marking all the vector elements as true and then we are traversing from 2 to square root of n and we are finding whether the number is whether the position at which we are is prime or not and if, uh, and if it is not a prime then we will move to the next element and if at all it is a prime then we will mark all the multiples of the number i as false so we can traverse the multiples from as 2 times of i then 3i 4i so you can look that we are adding i to j each time so with this we can find out the primes this is the sieve of arasthanas algorithm hope you would understand this video thank you